Hey guys, uh, so I'm working on a 50 horse Johnson outboard and I'm, I changed the water pump and I didn't make a video of the water pump replacement, but what I wanted to share with you, cause I couldn't find anything on YouTube about it, is how to disconnect the shift linkage. Um, it's a bit of a bugger. You can't really see it very well and I don't think I'll be able to show you, um, it, it lives underneath the bottom carburetor, you know, way at the back there. But, but what I wanted to show you is the, what it is that you've got to disconnect in order to actually take it out of there. So what you're going to have is a 10 millimeter bolt and it's going to be underneath there. So that you'll 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 basically be able to see just the bolt. Like you're gonna peek underneath the carburetor, and you'll see what you'll see is that. And if you undo that bolt, it'll allow you to slide it off of. Um, I can't even show you, but it, it's this is part of the linkage. It goes underneath there, and this actually fits over top of this rod and this little pin that you see right there that little pin right there actually fits through the the linkage which which basically you're gonna see that underneath the motor but you're gonna have to look around a corner and you know, it's a it's a real pain in the ears to see it but it's there so you're gonna undo that bolt once that bolt is undone and you pull back on this linkage here it'll it'll pretty much just fall off of this of this pin and you'll be able to slide that uh, that rod right out of there so 50 horse I think they're the same for different models this is the three cylinder 1998 50 horse Johnson and uh, so yeah it's actually 7 16 so 7 16 you loosen that thing you're gonna have to frig around way underneath underneath that carburetor uh, the best way to get it is from the um, uh, port side, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna be finicking around between the carburetor and the uh, the fuel pump here. So, okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that there, but you've you've got the two rods, the one I showed you earlier, and then the shift shaft, which I'll try to move here so you can see. So you see that arm moving there? That's the shift shaft that I'm moving on the other side of the engine. So you have to line up the hole in it. You can see the hole there. The hole in the shaft next to it, which is the white one that was on the um, on the lower unit, right? So you guys are seeing those two holes. You have to line those up, and then next to it there, if it if the camera will focus. So right next to it there, you have like a right there in the center of the picture there in the center of the frame there's that's the shaft that um, you have to get that little guy over right so you got your um, so that shaft is going to go through this actually goes like this and so the shaft goes through there and then you got to line up those two holes that we uh, were looking at there and the two holes have to line up and then this pin goes through all at the same time so all I gotta say is have fun um, unless you're taking stuff apart uh, I'm a bit stubborn so I'm gonna do it you know I'll just fight my way through but um, but yeah so that's how you do it get those guys uh, all lined up and uh, you're good to go once you get that 7 16 bolt out, you'll be able to drop that unit. Make sure you leave a couple of bolts in so this guy doesn't fall off, fall on the ground once you once you get your bolt out. And uh, don't hit it too hard because you can break this uh, aluminum. So be, be gentle with it. So there you go. Quick tip. If you're doing a 50 horse Johnson, uh, it's pretty easy once you've done it once. All right. Hope that helps someone out there. And now uh, we'll catch you on the next one.